Hey everyone. Okay, I'm getting ready to put my seeds into some dirt so I can get them, you know, started and start putting them in this little grow house miniature one, but we want to get a bigger one. For now, they're going to go in here until they get big enough to get put into bigger pots. So I'm just going to fill these uh, tubs with dirt and plant the seeds. And I also like to use, well, you can use anything you have on hand, but I'm going to be labeling where I put my seeds, you know, what they are. I have, like, a whole bunch of these uh, plastic knives, and we don't use them, you know. So whatever you have on hand, but I just write the name of the plant here with a Sharpie pen. So you just take your dirt and you put it into these little tubs here. Make sure it's even. I like to fill it almost to the top and press it just a little bit. Okay, so this is how I do the tubs like this. Um, they're slightly packed down. Then I have these. It's uh, just a tub like this, and it's self-watering, actually. If you look under here, lift this up, it has like a little mat right here. And the water reservoirs go under there in little channels. So you pour the water in here in this corner, and it kind of self-waters these for a while. I'm really sorry, my hands are very dirty because I've been touching dirt. Anyway, um, these are peat pellets, and you get these wet and they expand, and you can put the, uh, you know, like into soft, mushy soil. You can put the seed right there, and the seed will grow in this. And there's a picture here, so after it expands, you'll have this little clump of dirt that you can transfer your plants in, and you can put them into the pots when they get a little bigger. So I will be using both. I'll be using this style and this style just to see how it goes. First I have to wet this down. You have to completely soak these with water. They're only like this because they're hard right now and dry. But once they're wet they'll puff up quite a bit bigger and you'll see. So let me wet these down and I'll show it to you. And actually right now if you look at them very, very carefully, you can see that they're starting to expand and puff up. It's happening very slowly, but um, when it started out, they they all looked like this, and now they're puffing up a little higher. So I'm going to let those soak for a minute because the, re the reservoir is full. I'm going to get the next one now. And I'm also going to wet these down too. Alright, so you see here now they're actually starting to rise above their little uh, sections. And remember when I took it out, how thin they were? Well, look at them now. Let me see if I can get this out of here. They're encased in kind of a mesh netting sort of thing. And uh, that, yeah, that's how thick it is now. So pretty big difference. And it's still going to soak up some more water and maybe thicken a bit more. The mesh netting is so that um, you can pick it up and handle it easily because you're going to be picking these up and transplanting them into bigger containers later on. And so now these have literally like quadrupled in size. Um, when I first started out they were only about this thick and now they're like this. And this stuff under here, the, the padding and the water reservoirs, they very slowly feed the water into the bottom of the holes here. I think I will probably just do a row of each variety, like um, that can be the peas, this can be the green beans, this can be, you know, et cetera, et cetera. All right, I'm going to do the sweet peas first. So that's going to be this row, I guess, this front row. Now the way you do this is you take the, the wrapping, the mesh wrapping, and you sort of uh, peel it open a little bit so that you can work with the soil in here because now you've got this soil here and you can move it around a little bit to sort of cover up the seed so here's a sweet pea it's all sprouted with a little tail I'm going to put it right down in here and I'm just going to cover it up with some dirt you know this is very therapeutic for me because this is pretty much the closest that you can get to um, nature and God especially God um, and creation because you can take this little seed and plant it in the dirt and it's so simple you know it'll turn into a big beautiful plant and it'll grow gradually day by day week by week month by month before your eyes 
And in the end, there are these flowers and fruit and vegetables, and it rewards you with something nutritious for your body. So, you know, there's not really quite any experience like that, except maybe having children, <laughs> you know, and your uh, reward in that case is you get to see, you know, what kind of adults they become if you raise them well. And this is one of the oldest jobs in the world, actually, to um, take seeds and put them in the dirt, watch them grow, and then literally after you take care of them, you reap what you sow. People have been doing this since very early mankind. All right, so I just took a Sharpie pen and I wrote peas on this plastic uh, butter knife. And I'm just going to put it down in the edge over here so that will label what kind of plant this is. See, these ones are green beans. They start out basically like this as a seed, and then they sprout a little tail, and then when they get a little bigger, they start to break out of their little bean case there and form two leaves here. Like the bean itself, those will that will split into two leaves that you're seeing right there. That's why it's split open. In fact, you could just take the casing off right now, and those are going to become the first uh, two leaves of the plant. And again, I'll show you these. Um, these are zucchini plants. So you can see how at first they just get a little tail coming out of the end of the seed. The tail comes out of the pointy end of the seed. And then it begins to break out of its shell, like this. And then finally, the first two leaves emerge. You can see them very well with this one. And uh, just like with the other plant, you can actually, at a certain point, you can go ahead and slip the empty shell off. That's no good. And now you just have these beautiful uh, two leaves here. You can even see them in the middle. So I'm going to put this in the ground like that. 